so I just arrived at the border with Cambodia. It's like a pretty service girls everywhere, like slot machines. 150 baht for the whole box, no? So I'm gonna try my first dish of Cambodian food. The friendly woman bought it for me. Okay, what's up guys? I'm now at the parking lot of Lotus. It's a little bit dark, so cannot see me. It's four in the morning. I came back from the party, so... And I'm doing my uh, emergency visa run, as I stated in my previous video, so... It's very dark, you can probably not see. But uh, here, many buses, people gonna do visa runs, just like me, so... I'm gonna wait here, and I think the bus will leave around 4.30 and uh, then they will take me straight to the border of Cambodia there I will hopefully get a stamp and then get back into the country on uh, the day itself because tomorrow Monday the law changes and tomorrow everybody who uh, everybody who arrives in Thailand has to have a vaccine certificate which I don't have so that's why I'm doing an emergency border run and uh, then after I get my new visa exemption then I have to find some long-term visa because I'm not planning on getting the vaccine so yeah that's how it works I will tag the company in the description that I'm using for uh, the border run and uh, I'll probably have to wait a little bit here before uh, before the bus leaves so I will keep you guys updated I'm not sure if these organized visa runs are always like this, but as you can see like I'm one hour too early There are already many people and already like six vans one two three four five six So I don't know maybe today there's gonna be a lot of people doing it or it's always like this, but uh, Yeah, one hour too early and it's already so busy Okay, what's up guys? It's now two hours later. We did a... Uh, we're stopping uh, for... Oh, I cannot talk, I'm so tired. It's seven in the morning. We're stopping for uh, maybe ten minutes. Everybody's gonna have a toilet break. And I guess he's gonna get some gas as well. I'm fucking tired, guys. I'm so tired. So, uh, I guess we have another two hours to go before we arrive at the Cambodian border. And... Uh, I guess we're gonna have breakfast now. Everything went pretty smoothly, so you have to you have to go to the Lotus parking in Onut. Then um, at 4:30, everybody gets already in the van. They say that you have to be there at 4:30, but at like 4:15, everybody was already there, and everybody went in the van already at 4:30. And they said they were gonna leave around five in the morning, but they left already at 4:45. So if you want to do like a organized visa run, then uh, definitely, then definitely make sure you uh, you go on time and you go a little bit early because they definitely leave earlier than they said. And in the meantime, I'm getting followed by this dog. Sorry, cop. So I just arrived at the border with Cambodia. Let's see how the process goes. I will send the location too. I will send the location as well where it is exactly in Cambodia. It's not at the big border in Poi Pet. It's somewhere else. I will send the link. I will send the location in the video. So let's see. So I guess I'm officially in Cambodia now. They stamped me out of Thailand. And uh, now I'm in some kind of waiting area. I don't know if we have to do like COVID tests or something, some uh, ATK test, I'm not sure. So I hope it doesn't take too long. I had to give my passport to the guy after they stamped me out, so I guess they're gonna take care of the documents right now. It was a f quick drive, only four hours, only a four hour drive. 
So the guide, he told us it's gonna take a long time because I expected with the new COVID vaccination and shit, it's gonna take a long time. So we got like 30, 40 minutes free time to do whatever I want. So uh, now I'm officially in uh, Cambodia. And uh, I will probably just spend half an hour looking for some food and then uh, hopefully getting back to Thailand and getting stamped. So let's see if I can find some food in Cambodia and how I can even pay for it. They'll probably accept Thai bot as well. Let's see. I'm just following the other people. I'm not sure where I'm going. Looks like some random marketplace. And the guide, he said there's a casino here as well. Because gambling is legal in uh, Cambodia. So... Oh, and they sell cigarettes too. Yeah, it's like a little marketplace. Ah, I didn't sleep already for 24 hours, so I'm a little bit slow and tired, so excuse my voice. It's so random, I just walked into a huge casino and uh, gambling in Thailand is illegal, but here not. It's like a pretty service girls everywhere, like slot machines. I think it's the first time even in my life I went to a casino. I never went to a casino before. So yeah. It's so big inside. And maybe you can eat something here as well. So random. And it's pretty busy for 9 in the morning. Yeah, they quickly, they quickly told me to stop filming inside, so I could have expected that they wouldn't allow me to film in the casino, so... But anyway, had a quick look and keep the footage, and uh, as you can see, at 9 in the morning, there was already a lot of people gambling, so... Yeah, definitely a different country, different rules. I will explore a little bit further. I want to go find a restaurant and uh, eat something before I go pick up my passport. But yeah, this makes me want to go like visit Cambodia for real, you know. But yeah, with the new vaccination rule, I cannot. So I will probably be stuck in Thailand for a long time with Phnom Penh. And uh, Siem Reap is definitely on my bucket list. So yeah, definitely going to go there in the future someday. How much is the price? Uh, for Marlboro Light, how much? 150 baht. For the whole box, love? Yeah, one box. One pack. It's um, 10. 10 pack. Yeah, 10, 10 pack. 10 pack, 150 baht. Yeah. Okay, die. I cannot believe this shit. Like, uh, I just bought 10 packets of cigarettes for 5 euro. It's even like 10 times more cheap than in Thailand. Like this whole pack of Marlboro Light cost like 150 baht, which is only 5 euro, it's so cheap. And uh, I also asked this friendly woman, because she speaks Thai, where I can buy some food and uh, she's gonna make some noodles for me. So yeah, definitely a cool experience so far. But let's hope they're gonna let me into the country. So I'm gonna try my first dish of Cambodian food. The friendly woman bought it for me. So. Let's try it. I still have some time to kill, so... Ah, seems like the people here are very friendly. So uh, I will just kill some time and uh, have some food. So the food was pretty good. I think half hour passed, so I'm gonna go back to uh, the immigration point and see if my uh, passport finished already. So... Let's see. Hopefully it will move a little bit. So that I can get the hell out of here and go back to Bangkok. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back in Thailand. I'm very happy, very relieved, but I'm dead tired. Everything went very smoothly. The only negative thing is like I had to wait in line for three hours. It took so long because there's so much people today. I think everybody want to do a border run before uh, the new COVID restrictions. 
But uh, in the end, everything worked out fine. I recommend the company. The company is very good. Now they are giving us a free meal. So, and uh, for some reason, they are like fucking all Russian people doing the border runs. So I'm making some Russian friends. I'm having some food with them, and uh, I guess in uh, half an hour. We will uh, take the bus back to Bangkok and then uh, I will just sleep, guys. I'm so tired. So, yeah, SWD, Sawadi, Thai Visa Run. I recommend it. I'm very happy with their service. 45 extra days. Time to get a long-term visa because I'm not going to get uh, the vaccination. So, so just uh, made a little pit stop again. We're going back on the bus now. And then it's just two hours more back to Bangkok. So almost home <sighs> two more hours that is pretty comfortable I have a lot of leg room so I'm back in Bangkok now they drop us back off where we started 12 hours ago it's now 5 p.m. and I was here around 4 30 in the morning so yeah 12 hours it took to go to Cambodia and back and get a visa and everything so Oh, I'm happy it's over with and now I'm gonna take the BTS back to Nana going home so uh, yeah I will end the video here it was an adventure going to the boat party first then not sleeping and then 12 hours to do the visa run so yeah I'm fucking dead guys so uh, time to finally go home take the BTS and uh, get to sleep because tomorrow I got another busy day so as always thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye bye so it's now the next day it's uh, Monday and uh, as I'm reading the noobs newspaper I will just read what they say in the newspaper so uh, in an abrupt u-turn on Monday Mr. Anatun said requiring Visitors to show evidence of two vaccine doses was inconvenient like who would have thought it would be inconvenient and a panel of experts had resolved that it was unnecessary as enough vaccinations had been administered globally so uh, yeah the geniuses at the Thai government decided to uh, let the whole world know that you need to get vaccinated to come back into Thailand and then 24 hours later they uh, let the whole world know that uh, it's not necessary and uh, they made a mistake. So uh, yeah, your boy went to Cambodia border for nothing. But uh, anyway, I had to do it anyway next week. So I just lost seven days of the visa I already had. But other than that, I had to do it anyway. So yeah, shit happens. It's not that bad. Now I have my visa anyway. So uh, yeah, with Thailand, you never know, man. With Thailand, you never know. But anyway, I will end the video here and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.